At the back, the name of the game is Stability. With a traditional live axle and leaf springs, you get a bouncy ride and uneven power delivery, leading to the car squirming and lacking traction. But with some nice semi-trailing arms, as used by Triumph, Mercedes-Benz and BMW, the latter until after the turn of the millennium, you get potentially dangerous camber changes. It may be independent rear suspension, but its geometry means that as the weight transfers, the contact patch of the tyres on the road changes. And that is why older BMWs have a reputation for tail happiness on wet roundabouts. Very entertaining though that may be, safe it is not, and so the Rover P6 has a De Dion tube. De Dion rear suspension was used by Aston Martin, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo and Lotus, and it's a very sophisticated form of non-independent suspension. The tube itself acts as a dead axle, so power delivery is just as well controlled as in an independent system, but the two rear wheels remain linked together. This might not be the absolute best for comfort or control on uneven surfaces, but with coil springs atop these longitudinal links, it's a damn sight better controlled and more comfortable than a live axle, all while avoiding any of the adverse camber changes a semi-trailing arm system is susceptible to. And just to make things better, the rear brakes are mounted inboard, where they're a nightmare to service, but reduce unsprung weight.